Let's get straight into the headlines. Now, is anybody here on Tinder? Anyone on Tinder? Anyone? So the guy over here went, yeah, I mean, no. No, I'm not. I cancelled it. Well, I can tell you some things about Tinder. Researchers at Tinder have released some interesting user information, and it's particularly appropriate for tonight. Apparently, the most popular time to use the dating app is right now in January, and particularly on Monday evenings. Yeah. In winter, <laughs> in winter, after the holidays, on a Monday. So, literally, <laughs> when you're at your most depressed, <laughs> the most popular time of the day to use Tinder is apparently 9 p.m. And by the way, the most popular time to completely give up on love forever is 9.02 p.m. <laughs> but it's true, January is the most popular month for Tinder. So this is good news if your New Year's resolution is to get ghosted by a guy named Zander who's rock climbing in every photo. <laughs> Speaking of Tinder, we had to tell you about this story. While planning their first meetup, a man asked his Tinder match to wear black for their date. Now, that's a little odd in itself. However, the woman proceeded with the date and the man took her to his grandmother's funeral. <laughs> She felt like it was too late to leave. She sat through the entire service. <laughs> anyway, that's how your mother and I first met. <laughs> um, it's... <laughs> a funeral. It was a funeral, so obviously no one wanted to be there. There was a lot of silence and crying, so basically it was like any other Tinder date in many ways. <laughs> Moving on, at the Ohio State University, students have been given a rather unusual snack option. I don't know if you saw this. A vending machine has been installed on campus that dispenses bacon. Yeah. yeah. This is it. This is it. This is the future we've all been waiting for. Now, the machine will be maintained by the university's meat science program, right? <laughs> Which I didn't know existed, but sounds amazing. <laughs> you imagine me like, I gotta run, I've got an exam in my advanced pepperoni class. <laughs> and then I gotta be at the Lunchables lab by two, so I really can't. <laughs> now, here's my favorite part of that vending machine. Look at this here, look what it says on the side. Oh, pork! <laughs> oh, pork! <laughs> As in, oh, pork, I didn't know you'd be here. <laughs> I'd have dressed up a little. I was thinking about getting chips, but look at you. <laughs> <laughs> in other news, a couple in San Diego recently got married in the same place where they had their first date. They got married at a Costco. Right? It's true, I promise. The couple met on a dating app and they bonded over their shared love of the warehouse store. <laughs> I think it's rather sweet. They actually got married with a dozen other couples because it was cheaper to do it in bulk. <laughs> <laughs> it was a beautiful ceremony, though. It really was. The bride's father walked her down the aisle, aisle 32, to be exact. <laughs> but the same thing, this is the same thing always happens when you go to Costco. You go in to just buy some paper towels. Next thing you know, you leave with three roasted chickens, a big screen TV, and a lifelong commitment. It's perfect. <laughs> And finally, a man in England recently discovered that a jar he picked up in a flea market for $5 and had been using in his bathroom to store his toothbrush and toothpaste is actually an artefact from India that's more than 4,000 years old. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know they used toothbrushes back then. It's incredible. <laughs> but this, this is great. Surprises in the bathroom almost never end up being a good thing. <laughs> they don't. The guy had an ancient artifact as his toothbrush holder. You think that was weird? Wait until you see what he was using as his towel rack. 